if you don't have any Christmas products up, you still have time to list these products before we get to the peak of the season. However, you may have an amazing design for your Christmas product, but you may not be using the best keywords to gain traffic. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you exactly the keywords you should be using to get that last Christmas sale rush in before the season is over. I'm gonna share this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay, and on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Sell Samurai is a great tool to use if you're trying to find amazing products to create for Etsy. Not only do they show you what's happening right here at Etsy search with the number of people searching up a particular product, but you can head over to their additional section where you're able to see multiple keywords related to what you typed into Etsy search. And so we're going to jump into Etsy. We're going to use Sell Samurai to find the top trending keywords to use for your Etsy product. Now, if you want to use Sell Samurai on your own, they were so kind to give my audience a discount code for you to test this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business, I'll make sure I leave all of the details down in my description box below. All right, so here we are in Etsy. And before we even try to find keywords, I like to target a specific audience for me to actually find additional keywords to add to my listing. So I teach you in my videos about the importance of combining a person or a profession with a season. And so in our case today, the profession that we want to type up is nurse shirt. But because we want to fit this towards a specific season like Christmas, we want to put a Christmas shirt for a nurse. So with our phrase Christmas nurse shirt, we can see about 95 people have searched this up in the past 30 days. But again, we know that we're getting close to the Christmas season. So we know this number is really increasing every single day, but that's a good measuring stick for you to determine where you are with the search level. Now we see here Etsy's only showing us about five you know, key phrases people are typing in, but there are over 500 additional the phrases that is related to this initial phrase. So that's going to give us some indication in regards to what are other things people are typing up, what's the search volume, what's the level of competition, and that will give us more data to determine what type of keyword we need to use for our Etsy listing. So when we think about these keywords, we need to be mindful of what starts in the beginning of the title and what is some additional keywords we can add to support the title. So when we're talking about specific keywords, we definitely want to lead our title with things that's related to our design. So for instance, here, before we get into the additional key phrases, you will see here that most of these t-shirts are led by that phrase Christmas shirt for nurse or nurse Christmas shirt. That's that specific phrase we definitely want to target, but be more niche in regards to lowering that competition and increasing the search volume but the second part of a title is incorporating other unique high value keywords to support our product so right now we definitely want to focus on the beginning of our title to find a niche key phrase that has good search volume but the competition is relatively low and we definitely want to find some additional keywords to support what our product is so from here we'll go back to the search bar in the Sell Samurai tool is letting me know that there are 500 additional keywords and key phrases that people are typing up in Etsy. And when I open this up, you'll see multiple hundreds of different things we can use for the beginning of our title to find a micro niche category we can target. So as you can see here, Sell Samurai has broken down all of the key phrases people are typing into Etsy into one place we can see all the data right in front of us. And we know every single thing that's listed here is tied to our initial phrase, Christmas nurse shirt. So again, this is you know an overall place for you to add great things for your titles and your tags. But this first portion here, we want to find things specifically target to our niche we know we want to create a nurse t-shirt that's designed for christmas so we definitely want to isolate these keywords to only focus on things that has the word christmas in it and then from there once we created the beginning of our title we can add in that second part additional key phrases to support what our product is but as you can see here there's a ton of things here for us to look at i'll break this down for us so you know what we see sales summarize telling us that there's 501 additional key phrases related to this initial phrase we searched up we see the keyword or key phrase here we see the level of search volume here and the amount of words 
that's in that specific phrase. But as you can see here, there's a lot of people searching up different type of phrases related to the nurse shirt. But if you want to figure out a specific keyword that's tied to our season, which is Christmas nurse shirt. So if I want to see a specific key phrase that's tied into a word I want to focus on, in our case today, the word is Christmas, I can put it in here, I must contain this word. And as you can see here, it's highlighting specific key phrases that has our word in it, Christmas. And this is great for us to do because again, we want to target specifically what the season is for the beginning of our title. Now from here, if we have not created a design yet, this is a great place to see different type of micro niches we can target. We can see the level of search volume here and level of competition to see the interest, but this automatically just isolated 297 listings or potential listings we can create that's geared towards a specific niche. So from here, we definitely want to focus on the beginning of our title, having Christmas in it. But I'm sure with you an easy way for you to truly find a great space to create a product for, because again, the overall goal is to lower the competition, but increase the search volume. So with that being said, we have Christmas here selected, so we can just focus on those key phrases that have the word in it. But then we want to go a step further and utilize these data points here to find great areas for us to create. Now we can go in here and search up individual listings and see what a search volume is, what level of competition is, we can weigh the difference, or we can make it easy for ourselves here and go into search volume and change this filter to fit our criteria. So as a beginner, for if you're starting off new, I like to target a specific area where the search volume does not go lower than a certain point. So in my case today, I want the floor of my search volume to go no lower than 20. That means the results will show me nothing less than 20 searches per month, right? So we can go 20 searches or higher, but it will not show anything lower than 20 searches per month. So that's why the two here is just open and go as high as we want. But in regards to competition, we definitely want to create a ceiling where we don't peak over a certain number. Now, I truly believe that you can outrank anyone on Etsy if you use the right type of design aesthetics, utilize some great key points for values, communicate the value of your product in the first thumbnail image, use a pricing strategy. I mean, there's so much there you can do to compete with other people. But in our case today, for our example, the number I want to set for the top of my competitive listings is 10,000. This will give us a great space to truly be competitive because there's not gonna be a lot of people you know, showing up on Etsy for these words that we're gonna see here. Now, look at this results here. We have 297 right now, but we wanna get this down, right? We want to narrow down our niche to focus on things that's gonna give us the higher probability of making the sale. So that being said, we hit filter and what it will automatically do is that it will set the criteria and show us the results that fits within that. So now we jump all the way down to 70 which is great because again these are the micro niches that people are searching for specifically and if they're searching up these things specifically they're probably ready to buy these things right now so we see our list here drop down to 70 and again these are great niches for you to target but also great keywords to put in the beginning of your title if we go over to the right hand side we still see the search volume competition but if you notice here i can change the filter here to show the highest competition, the lowest competition, the highest search volume, the lowest search volume. So by clicking this, you'll see that the lowest search volume we have is 20, which is great because that's exactly what we put for the bottom floor. But if we click this again, it'll show the highest search volume. That means it'll go as high as possible within the bounds of our competition criteria. So we see this specific phrase has almost 4,000 searches per month in the last 30 days. So we'll go over to competition. We can do the same exact thing here. If we want to target a specific keyword phrase or a keyword niche that has low competition, we can click this here and it'll show us the lowest competition, 843. And we see the search volume here in the key phrase here. But if we want to see the highest competition because we know it's not going to peak over 10,000, we can click this again and just start from here and see what things are showing up. I like to focus more so on the search volume and then work from here because I know anything that's showing up is going to meet my criteria anyway for competition, which is 10,000. Now, if you want to see more search results, obviously we can increase the level of competition, but I think this is a great space for us to be today just to see the opportunities that we can create designs for and also add this specific keyword to the beginning of our title. And so we see all of these things here, we can create products for, and for instance, here we can go to cardiac nurse shirt Christmas. It has 226 you know, search results per month. And be mindful that this number is only going to increase as we get closer to the peak of the season. But check out the level of competition, less than 3,000. 
search results coming up so the cool thing about this is that i can actually click on the ones i want to focus on i can export this list or just add this list to my own notes if i want to use this as a cvs file i can do that but if i even want to open this up and see what etsy is showing me i can click on this and now i can do my basic product research to see what things are selling well what are some best-selling designs i can learn also from best-selling products to see what i can incorporate into my design and as we looked up the search results we can see just matching up the data we have in front of us it is less than three thousand results well that's great but we definitely want to prove the level of demand to see what type of results are showing bestseller badges and we have a couple of those here and of course the first line of listings is probably the ones that's getting the most interaction the most favorites the most sales here so look at this shirt here best-selling product sweatshirt it says christmas cardiology shirt so that falls into our niche that we just looked up cardiac now shirt though the beginning phrase is different we can learn from the listing and identify what we can add to create more value for our product so i would definitely add in here the beginning of this phrase because we know this is the amount of people that are searching up this product love of competition not many people are showing up for this and we definitely want to be key phrase exact etsy ties in what people are typing in to what people will see as a result and if we are more relevant to what they're typing in then we're probably going to show up on the beginning pages that they're searching for so what we understand is is there an opportunity for us to create a product that can sell with the cardiac niche for nurses in christmas season absolutely yes we have this one here as well cardiac christmas crew again different type of phrase but same type of niche we can create designs for i would definitely learn from best selling listings but also allow this data to drive me to other type of data points to add it to my listing like this phrase cardiac nurse shirt or cardiac nurse sweatshirt whatever product you want to design for and again there are multiple opportunities just like i showed you for one niche that can be done for all niches right for the teacher niche for the firefighter niche for we can go into different persons like the grandma the mimi the Gigi niche and do the same type of research to identify just not different products to create or what type of keywords we can use Use for the beginning of our title to pinpoint exactly what people are typing in to the product they will see so being that we have the beginning of our title already created i like to reset my filter just to see what things are coming up because once we get down to the middle and the back part of our title especially with the keywords we definitely want to add in as many keywords that has high search volume to what our product is so this is where i like to be led more so by the search volume and not more so by competition and pluck out ones that's related to my specific area and again what i can incorporate to my overall design or i can go back to the etsy search bar put in my phrase cardiac nurse and do my search all over again here to find supportive keywords. And again, now I know every single thing that's on this list is related to cardiac nurse. If I want to focus on a specific keyword, has this word in it, I can go to words. And now I have 343 additional terms I can use in support of what my shirt is. Of course, we gotta make sure that it fits our season. We have this phrase, retro cardiac nurse shirt. We have cardiac crew. So we have a lot of different things we can add to our overall product to drive as many searches as possible that's related to our main product. So finding these keywords is very important because again, using these keywords is exactly how people will find your product. And with using Sales Samurai, they make it so easy to find these trending items because you're able to see the level of competition as well as the search volume. Now, if you want to check out Sales Samurai on your own, again, I'll make sure I leave all the details along with that discount code in the description box below for you to test this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand and business. Now, in today's video, we didn't have time to go over how to actually use these keywords to make an amazing title for your Etsy listing. However, if you want to check out that next step, click this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.